How's it going guys? Revel here coming at you guys with a brand new video and today we are going to be reviewing the one and only da -da -da -da, Fede Valverde card, the Future Stars card. Now before we get into it, if you guys could please leave a like, comment down below uh, what you guys want to see on the channel as well as subscribing and following my Twitch and Twitter. That would be very much appreciated but let's get into the video. So I was uh, just looking on the market and hopefully let's check right now if he, hopefully he did not drop because I thought I sniped him. It was a snipe. It was like 150k under his um, his current value. But I think he may have dropped even more. Please do not. Oh my god. I lost so many coins. I am an idiot. But whatever. I lost like 100k. So please sub to feed my family. Because I just lost 100, 200k. I might as well play with it now. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I sniped him. I should have flipped him right away. But yeah, yeah. You know, you win some, you lose some. But in my case, I lost it. So looking at this Fede Valverde card, um, it's just holy king, insane. I don't know really what to say. His only downside is his slide tackling. Literally the only thing on this card. But uh, he looks really, really good. He looks insane. Hopefully the pros hype him up a little bit so I could make some coin on him or at least recover some losses. But he's going for 1.3 as you guys saw, I think. Was he going for 1.3? Okay, he's not going for 1.3. Oh, he's not going for 1.5. Oh, we might be in business, boys. Wait, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, that's 100k less. Why? Why did I do that? Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's just get into the review. We're going to be playing him at a right center mid. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks insane. He's got 93 shot power, 93 long shots, 81 finishing, 95 vision, 97 short pass, 99 long pass, 84 agility, 81 balance, 93 reactions, 94 ball control, 89 dribbling, 99 composure. Amazing defending except slide tackling. I don't know why EA did that. They are brain dead, but with an anchor, hopefully it goes up a little bit. But, um, yeah, we're going to get right into the review, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Um, but, yeah, I'll be right back. We're going to be playing Foot Champs, too, by the way. This is a nice little team. 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Um, you know how it is. We're going to go ahead and get into a game. And, you know, we're going to dominate our opponent, make him rage quit. But I'll be right back. All right, guys. So what did I think of this Fede Valverde card? Now, first of all, I feel like a complete idiot because I bought him for 1.45 mil. And now he's not even selling for 1.2 mil. So I lost like 300k in a span of 10 minutes. And I am very, 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 very mad. And I think I'm going to quit this game. But yeah, you guys are here for the reviews. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think of this card. Now, this card... Oh, what do I think of it? What do I think of this card? I mean, he's good. He's really, really good, obviously. But is he worth? Yeah, he is. He's worth, like, I say a million coins. I'd say he's worth a mil. I wouldn't say he's worth the 1.45 um, mil that I paid for. If you guys could pick him up for under that, which you probably can because he's going for, like, 1.2 now, I would say he's worth it. But I still think De Jong is better than him in real life and in La Liga. I mean, in, uh, yeah, in La Liga in the game. But this Valverde is like, he feels like a Pogba, but a more complete Pogba, if that makes sense. Like a Pogba that could run out, outpace attackers. He could dribble, he could shoot, he could pass, he could defend, and he's very, very strong. Um, there's only one thing that I did not like about this Valverde card was the four star skills. I wish he had four star skills because he'd be so much fun to use with um, different skill moves, obviously. Even though he's a center mid, he'd still be very, very fun. If he was 4-star, four 4-star, four uh, 1.5 mil would probably be justified. Because 4-star, four 4-star four on this card would be insanely fun and a beast. But, um, yeah, he's 3-star, three 3-star. Three so that is going to limit him a little bit. If you guys are looking to play more offensively, have a little bit more fun, you know, it is going to limit you. But um, he's very fast. He, could, he caught up to, like, almost every single attacker. He was breaking forward. He's making good runs. His shooting is very, very good. Um, another thing that I did not like was his stamina, though. 84 stamina. He is going to run out at the end of the game if you go into extra time, especially. Uh, I do not think that that stamina is good on this card. Uh, something I didn't like was that. Uh, his jumping, also, he didn't win that many headers. 
I mean, I'm letting the clips play in the background, um, but yeah, he was very solid. Uh, another thing that I liked about him was his passing. His passing was very, very good. Almost every single pass I played, it went straight to the to the person, to the target. Um, his short passing was good. His long passing was good. Everything on the passing category was good on this card. His pace, I already said his pace is good. His shooting, he had a long shot. I don't know if you guys saw it earlier. He didn't have any goals, but he can shoot them. But uh, I would just stick with your attackers. I mean, if he's outside the box, go ahead and bang it. But you got to be careful with the volleys because in real life, I think they were playing, who were they playing? I saw a game where they were playing somebody and he kept going for uh, for like volleys and he nearly, it was against Barca, I think. Yeah, I think it was against Barca. It may have been against Barca, but that was a while ago. So I saw it recently where he was just going for volleys and they would almost go in. He had like two volleys in the game. And yeah, I think it was against Barca and it like barely passed for Sagan's post. So his volleys should be higher up there. He is a good player in real life and I do think this card suits him. Um, yeah, it's very, very accurate, the card. His dribbling is also very good. His composure, he almost never lost the ball when he had it in possession, and he would always make the right tackle. Surprisingly, his slide tackle, I didn't really notice it to be that bad. Honestly, the slide tackle, I thought it was really good. And his stand tackle was also really good. I felt like they were 90s, both of them, maybe because I put an anchor on him, but I would go ahead and pop a shadow on him just for the extra pace. Um, but yeah, his dribbling was good. Composure was great. Dribbling, ball control, reactions, uh, his agility and balance. I mean, he was good, but he still felt a little bit clunky because he didn't have those uh, four star skills. So he couldn't really weave in and weave out of other opponents. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like he couldn't really do the fancy work because he was uh, limited with the three star skills and three star weak foot. But his uh, interceptions was also something that I really liked. He was always in the right position at the right time, marking the opponent, tracking him down, uh, being that second man coverage, you know. He was very good in that aspect of the game. Uh, his interceptions, good. His heading accuracy doesn't really matter. His defensive awareness and stand tackle and slide tackle, I felt they were all like 90+. plus. His defensive awareness is 88, his stand tackle is 86, and his slide tackle is 66. But I felt like they were all like 90+, plus because he was very strong. Um, I wouldn't say he's better than Hollett, obviously, for various reasons, because Hollett is probably the best defender on the game. But I would say he's top probably 10 center mids. I wouldn't say 5, because I would say Hollett, Vieira, De Jong, Team of the Year De Jong, um, Team of the Year Conte, and like Team of the Year De Bruyne are top 5, probably. Um, but he would definitely be top 10, because he has he's almost a complete package. If his stamina was a little better, and he was 4-star, four 4-star, four which that could always improve in the future. Who knows, maybe he'll get a winter upgrade. Or, I mean, it's not even winter anymore, is it? Or it probably is, but he could probably still get a skill move upgrade, a weak foot upgrade. Uh, or in a next couple of FIFAs, who knows, maybe he'll get a team of the year next year. Maybe, maybe he wins Uruguay the Copa America, and he gets the Champions League, and he'll get a team of the year card. But, um, yeah, his, his physical it was great. He, you feel his presence in the game. He's very... He's very, uh, I don't know, he's like a, he's like an elephant. You you feel him on the field. He's like an elephant, like you can't get around him. You know, he's got that uh, tusk that could just, I don't even know what I'm saying, but like, you know what I mean? Like, he's like the elephant in the field. Like he could, it's very hard to get around him, you know? Or the elephant in the room, that's what it's called. The, ele the elephant in the room, he's the elephant in the room, you know? Nobody could get around him. Uh, but his stamina was pretty bad. 84, he does gas out at the end of the games if you're running up and down the field. Because he could play box to box, but with his medium medium work rates, I don't think he'll be running up and down. Not 85 strength, I felt like his strength was better. And his aggression, I thought was better as well. Like, there are some parts of this card that lie, and some parts that are very truthful. Like, his slide tackle, I think it's lying. I don't think it's 66. I think it's better than that. But, um, mm. what was probably telling the truth like his jumping was telling the truth because he could not jump for anything i don't know why they didn't give him like 90 jumping or something like that but he could not jump to save his life um but yeah guys this card was very good i enjoyed him a lot um i hope i hope i hope that you guys try this card out because he's very good and go ahead and buy my card on the market that's going for 1260 because i'm losing coins Hopefully somebody buys him soon. I'm just staring at him right now. I'm in very, very sad. I had two mil in the beginning of the day. I'm about to have like 1.5 mil after this. And I didn't even pack anything. I don't know. I don't have anything in my club. Team of the year completely drained me. 
and I'm a broken, broken man. So if you guys could please drop a sub um, to provide for my kids and my family because I'm completely broke. I'm just kidding. I don't have any kids, but yeah, drop a sub because I lost all my coins on FIFA. I lost everybody in my club. And the only thing staring at me right now is just Valverde on my screen. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on your weekend late. Don't rage too hard. And peace.